Hello YouTube, how y'all doing today? We are doing a review of the Discovery Optics 3-12 scope. This is a first focal plane illuminated reticle scope. I'm going to read you the specifications right now. The model number is extremely long. Magnification 3-12, focal plane first. Field of view 39.2 feet to 9.7 feet at 100 yards, depending on magnification. The exit pupil is 14.1 to 3.5 millimeters. The eye relief is 3.8 to 3.5 inches. The click value of the adjustment turrets is one quarter MOA. And this does have the tactical elevation tur turrets. They lift it up, twist it, and then lock it down in the position. It has total elevation adjustment of 110 MOA and total adjustment of windage of 110 MOA. The objective is a 42 millimeter lens. The total diameter or the tube diameter correction is 30 millimeters. The length is 12.5 inches. The weight is 25 ounces. 16 ounces is a pound. It has illuminated reticle. They claim shock and waterproof with nitrogen filler. One other thing I wanted to show you this comes with their quality control checking and inspections. And you can see that they check a lot of things on this scope. Every scope before it goes out the door. They have their assembly procedures right here. And every single assembly procedure before it goes out the door is checked. This is really impressive. I've never seen anything like this at a optic at this price point. You know, I've owned six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollar Leopolds that don't don't have that so that's actually really neat and uh like it shows a lot of promise and it fills me with hope that this is a very good optic so we are going to zero this guy and then once we get it zeroed we're going to do some shooting out there on the lake uh, we have a bunch of leaves floating around it ranges out to about 175 yards from where i'm standing it looks like and then after that we have a uh, 12 by 20 inch mini idpa silhouette target at 100 yards and we'll put some headshots on that to show the uh, accuracy folks one last thing i did want to mention about this uh discovery optic the rings that this comes with are just beautiful look at that machine surface it's got the torque ordering right on there really really nice rings the rings on their site are listed for 70 dollars alone very nice rings just wanted to point that out really nice we are using a cmmg bravo 22 conversion kit in our 11.5 inch ar it has a faxon gunner profile barrel and we will be using remington golden bullet bulk ammo for the test that's a high velocity round i get right around 1175 to 1200 feet per second in this barrel with that round one more thing I should mention, we have the included sunscreen attached up here. This uh, screws off up here and then the scope will end right there. Twist that off and we'll show you. And as you can see, you can unscrew this, the sunscreen here. Well, it's got a lot of threads and it's a much more compact scope. And that actually looks really nice in there. It's a very handsome variable optic. And one thing I will say also, it has an extremely fine reticle. Normally, I don't care about illuminated reticles uh, on scopes. I don't think it's really necessary, especially if you're using a weapon-mounted light. This one, the reticle is so fine, it, it's got to be a quarter MOA reticle, I swear. It's super fine. And so having the lighted reticle actually is really helpful for this, this optic. All right, and we're going to be doing our shooting at 10 magnification. All right, folks, stand by. Okay, folks, so people always say that, uh, you know, a magnified optic is no good at close range. You know, that... Uh, they're no good for CQB. They struggle with CQB. Well, there is a technique called the bind and aiming concept where what you do is you keep both eyes open. 
you kind of just focus on the target, and when you bring the optic up, you're just going to see the crosshair superimposed in front of you. So I'm going to demonstrate the Biden, uh, the Binden aiming concept here with this scope, so that you can see that you can, in fact, use these at close range. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're actually on 12 power right now, folks. So as you can see, even with a high power magnified optic, and we will show you that that is on 12 power, by using the Binden aiming concept, you could still still score hits at close range quickly. And this is a eight inch steel spinner. As you could see, that was spinning all over the place. If we had it hanging with two strings, which we have to get down there and repair it, it would eat, it, we would get even more hits. So let's do the bowling pin. We're still on 12 power. And you can see all those rounds are right there, right around the target. So that's the been an aiming concept that was actually invented by a Navy SEAL long ago in the late 60s or early 70s. All right, folks, so uh, we're all done this review here, and I just wanted to say, I think for the money, this is a very nice optic. Uh, you know, I've never dealt with this company before going in. I didn't know what to expect, you know, and honestly, I didn't expect much, but, you know, I really like it. Mike, what do you think of this thing? My uh, godson, Mike, is a longtime shooter. What do you so, think? So I'm a big fan of it, actually. It's very high quality. The uh, It's very extremely clear, especially when zoomed in. It focuses very nice. Uh, it adjusts well. Overall, I'd say it's a very good quality scope. Yeah, I like it. I wasn't expecting much going into this review, but i got to say, thumbs up. Discovery Optic, nice job. All right, folks. Have a great day.